Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Thursday, February the 17th, 2022, Throne Thursday. Today we're pulling from the Game of Thrones tarot cards. We're starting off with Judgment. So this is traditionally a brand new beginning. This is a rebirth of an interjection of energy, but we have th this winter and we are in the dead of winter in a lot of areas of the world. And I feel like... They're saying spontaneity for some reason, but I definitely feel like, you know, with this kind of like leaving the old behind, like the old self, and this could be going to the higher self. You know, we were definitely talking about, you know, a youth going through this transformation. This is tech. Well, people will say differently, but technically this is brand as maybe shadow self or higher self. If he was in the, I, I would say, I would say shadow self to tell you the truth. Um, you know what I mean? But I, you know, you, when you see the, when these people pass away, they become the white walkers. So rebirth, you know what I mean? We're leaving the olds of us behind and we're moving on to greener pastures. We have the nine of swords. We're talking about someone in our life that is manipulative. Someone that likes to stir the pot. This is someone that talks a big game and maybe shouldn't. And they make false promises. This is someone that is arrogant. This is someone that uh, puts the cart before the horse, if you will, and starts to belittle uh, people around them and belittle uh, situations. And it's like, you know, I've not even so much that I get arrogant, but, you know, uh, hopeful or maybe like thinking that something has come to fruition and it hasn't. And I feel like in this situation, they they don't even know. <coughs> but doesn't mean you should be acting this way. You know what I mean? Anyone that knows from Game of Thrones that this is not someone, you know, that you would want to hang around unless you're really something wrong with you. We have the two of swords and there's a situation where we make a choice and it's like we don't know the whole for the whole all the information, but we see where it goes. I feel like it's an emotional decision because there is a body water behind her, but it's like, you don't have all the information in this situation, but you know what I mean? They do talk about us dragging our feet and they have been talking that, about that for a while. They are talking about procrastination. I feel like when opportunities become before us, if it's something we want, you know what I mean? I would definitely look at the pros and cons of the situation. And it's like, you never miss the shots that you take. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like an opportunity is going to be present here. They do talk about career and home opportunities with the King of Cups, but I feel like um, it's the right move to do personally. Like in my situation, um, it kills me to make this decision, but it's just like at the same time, I'm sure it'll work out. We have the King of Cups. So again, he's disappeared for a while. And I feel like with the King of Cups, it's just like there's a person, either a family member, a friend, or a lover making themselves known. With this definition, they are saying someone from the past that is going to make themselves known. <clears throat> For myself, I feel like more of a professional is someone that you will have um, <clears throat> a connection with. But I feel like it's in a supportive role. I don't feel like, and that maybe this is just my own situation making me feel this way, but, um, I feel like you're supported by this person and I, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't necessarily feel like you're, um, in a love relationship. Like I sat with this energy and I'm just like, okay, you know, give me a little something here, but I honestly, I don't know if I'm being clouded by my own situation or, but I don't feel love. I'm just being honest. Um, but again, it could be anything for everyone. Everyone's situation is different. Like I said, it could be my own situation clouding it. But it's like, I wouldn't over romanticize a situation. I wouldn't sit there and be like, you know, the, like with Venus retrograde, we still have the hangover energy and Mercury retrograde for the first three weeks. So I'm trying to see if they're going to give me something here. And I'm not, you know what I mean? Again, but I'm going back to, they even just said with the full moon, you know what I mean? They said that this was going to be a relationship that wasn't going to last. So it's like the decision you're making is correct, you know? Um, but it's just like, for some, it's just like, uh, I'm going to do it anyway, which is fine. 
free will. We all have free will. But I feel like in this situation, it's like if you choose love over um, this other situation, I feel like it's going to be a losing battle. They're, I, they're showing three. So I don't know if this is three days, three weeks, three months. But it's it's nothing that's going to be sustainable. <clears throat> three years. It could even be three years. But I don't see it going any further than that. We have death. So we have 13. So one plus three is four. So they were talking about stability here with, um, um, was it yesterday's card? But I feel like it's making us whole. You know what I mean? And they're talking about death here. And I definitely feel like with this energy here with the Knight of Swords, when we usually see, typically see the Knight of Swords, he, the sword is um, in this like <clears throat> running motion. And they always talk about the Knight of Swords as this, as someone that's constant motion. In this case, they're really, they're like a pot stirrer. So it's just like, you know what I mean? And it's like me working on this major change and transformation. Sorry, my allergies. But I feel like in this point, it's just like you sit there and it's like you realize, you know, and I feel like it's knowing your worth too. It's just like, you know, I've heard this so many times, time and time and again. It's like, if you allow someone to talk to you that way, they will continue to talk to you that way. You know what I mean? I, and I feel like by bringing it to their attention, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's all about how you uh, um, deliver the message. Like, you know, have I done something to offend you? Like, why? Well, you know, it, it feels like you're kind of short with me, you know, and, and, you know, maybe they, they don't see it. Maybe they're, maybe sometimes people take out their frustrations. I'm, I'm guilty of this and I try to watch that that I don't take out my energy on certain people because of something else. But, um, it, it could be that, you know what I mean? And I feel like it's just like universe said, you, you know, either you cut them out of your life or you could sit there and be like, Hey, you know what? It's all about how you say it. Not like, Hey, like, no, just be like, you know, did I, I, maybe some people are like, no, you gotta put some bass in your voice, but I'm just, you know, I've done this before and I'm just like, you know, is there something, did I do something to offend you? No. Well, how come you're, you know, coming at me with like, you know, guns a blazing, like I did something here, you know? And it's just, you know, I feel like distancing yourself, honestly, until they get that all in check. And if they can't get it in check, you know, major change of transformation. What about the death card? <clears throat> Doesn't serve you time to cut them out. You know, this is a brand new beginning. This card leads you to the sun. We're not accepting old behaviors anymore. You know, we all have to grow. And if someone refuses to grow, that's their free will. But it's like, well, I have the free will to walk away as well. So we're going to start off with judgment. The past, second chance, memories, guilt, awakening, the soul. So double X reduces to two. The number associated with opposites and choices. Also duality. We were getting a lot of duality. We got the number... Oh, we actually have the number 22 present in this spread. Two plus two is four. So we're getting a lot of things regarding the home, especially with death, major change of transformation. You know, like they said, bringing something solid, you know, making us whole. Judgment often appears in readings when you're on the brink of change. When it come with and with it comes memories, dreams of the past, people reappearing in your life. You may decide to give a, situa a situation or relationship a second chance. Or otherwise, review your behavior and see, at a higher level, the life lessons offered. This card also suggests spiritual awakening, mediumship, connecting with angels and guides. It is a powerful opportunity to seek, uh, to, to make sense of the past. Fame, reputation. So this could be our young individual, as we had talked about, um, coming into their own. You know, they had said that this youth would be like Tyler Henry, a young, he, I, I believe I'm, I'm, I may be mistaken here. Um, I'm not going to try and pretend like I know him or, you know, and, and know anything about his past, but I know from watching his show that it was his grandmother that had pa passed that he started to get this ability. So with our youth, it's like, you know, spirit saying like, let them come to them. You know, they were showing a lamb with uh, the wild unknown and they were, their crown chakra was lit. So I, you know, in my opinion, I will say it again. I know a lot of people will disagree with me. This could be Bran as the white Walker, as his shadow self, you know, 
I know everyone will see things differently and that's totally fine. We all have our own opinions. I'm not the only one that says the same thing, but I could, you know what I mean? This could be, you know, like this was kind of like a rebirth. This could be from his previous life, past life, you know? So maybe the shadow side was trying to kill the light. You know, you think of the yin and the yang, it's balancing the light and the darkness. So that this could have been his dark side coming to kill off the last of the light so he could overtake and be that villain. Don't they say that? you live if, When you're a hero, you'll live long enough. You'll either die or live long enough to become the villain. So, you know. And funny enough, we go, <laughs> we go to the um, Knight of uh, Swords and he's the villain in this. I can't remember his name, but the actor is phenomenal. Like you wanted to beat his head in. It's like, you know, when an actor makes you hate them, it's like, you know, they're doing their job. So drama, stress, conflict, change. So the word change comes up again. We kept getting the Harrowfent. Change in, you know, number five, change in transformation. As an individual, the knight is an anti-hero who creates drama for his own sake. He does not fight with a conviction or for a genuine goal. Applied to a situation, he represents empty promises. So beware of those who are trying a, a little too hard to appear and uh invincible and i definitely feel like it's like nobody's invincible that's how you keep yourself humble when you think you're the cat's meow and nothing can touch you you know that's when you when you try to play your hand too hard and it's like oh comes and bites you right in the butt so we go to the two of swords procrastination thinking time decision and i feel like this is where you know, spirit is saying dragging our feet. And it's just like, we can't stop the wheel from evolving. Sometimes we don't understand why this change is happening, you know, but it's just like, we got to trust it. You know, maybe this is what this change is a temporary situation to bring us to a stronger point. I'm not sure, but I feel like this is necessary at this time, you know, going to what keeps playing in my head when I was reading for IG was from the chariot. It will take some sort of sacrifice. So we have to give up something to sit there and have the, you know, to, to continue this control in our life. So it's like, you know, got, sometimes we don't understand what's happening, but it's like, got to go with it. Just like her, her eyes are, are whited out. So it's just like, she doesn't see, she doesn't have all the information here. You get the water here with the emotional situation, but it's just like, you know, sometimes we're moving forward and we have no idea what's going on. But remember, we kept getting, thank you, Spirit, for showing me that. They're showing from the Enchanted Forest that, um, I can't remember what card it is. I think it's the world, if I'm not mistaken. The White Heart leads us to, into the wild, uh, into the, the Enchanted Forest. We come, we come to the exit of the, this, uh, maze. And, you know, the White Heart is by us. And I feel like this is our guardian angels and our ancestors have, they have articulated with the star so much. Uh, in the past couple of weeks and we go to this beautiful meadow you know I feel like this is very much like the um, ace of pentacles where it, with when you go to astrology answers this gateway this portal has been open for you so I feel like especially through February 2nd through 22nd we're seeing all these positive things happen and they're saying this is all tied to your karma so I feel like the opportunities that are coming here it's like don't fight it go with it don't procrastinate. You may cross swords with an opponent or face problems that can cannot be easily resolved. This card, the, this, oh, sorry, this too is often a card of procrastination. You're blind to which way forward. By all means, take a time out to think, but a decision needs to be made and soon. You need a workable solution, not a perfect one. So it, you know what I mean? It's like, it's just like anything when something brand new comes into our life, it's like, we don't know how we're going to make it work, but somehow we do, you know, in that time, maybe it's just where our mind is going all back and forth. Or it's just like, where did this come from? They're like, <laughs> they're showing from the inside out and they're showing all of our little emotes in there and they're running back and forth like danger, danger, abort. Like what's going on here? And the sirens going off. And it's like, what do we do here? And it's just like, you know, when all that chaos is done in our head and it's like, we actually are like, okay, you know, like when our kid takes on a new course or something, you know what I mean? It's just like we find a way to make it work. So King of Cups, steadiness, warmth, resolution, 
Emotions. The king is often an advisor, an academic, an artist, or a business person. And a tarot generally represents the ideal male partner. Kind and charismatic. is He is sensitive to others. But his inability to deal with his own strong emotions means he can appear distant, apply to a situation, take a balanced view in order to heal a dispute. So this could be with this Knight of Swords. Also be reassured that you can manage your emotions when the uh, pressure is on. So maybe this is why we're feeling that because we're like, ooh, the pressure is on now. You know what I mean? Can I do it all? You know, and I definitely feel like we can do it all. We find some way to make, do it all. You know, like I said, maybe we give up, you know, certain things in our life and it's like, well, it's, uh, you know, when it's time, you know, I know this will be forever or it could be, a, like I said, a temporary situation until things turn around, whatever this is. And it's just like, you know, sometimes we got to do what's best for the family or best for yourself or best whatever here is going on. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's why he's like ground ourselves. I feel like that's why meditation has been coming up a lot because it's just like, you know, ground yourself. And I feel like, you know, especially with there's the, this little, uh, I guess you would call it a gift or just, um, this, uh, gentleman telling us like, you know, when you feel this way, do this, when you feel this way, do this, like, you know what I mean? And I feel like it's sometimes, yeah, we do. We need that grounding energy. I was literally talking to this, to, um, someone close to me. And, uh, you know, he is going through a situation and I said, you know, we're trying to come up ways to ground him. And, you know, and he's just like, yeah, I didn't even think of that. You know what I mean? And it's just like, sometimes, you know, we, we don't even think of these things, how we can ground ourselves and it's right in front of us. You know what I mean? It's just because those emotions overtake. And I feel like that's what's going on here. You know, when they're showing this, um, inside out and they're running around in chaos, it's just like, cause it's like, oh, how do we, you know, this is something new, you know? And it's like, what do we do? And it's change. You know what I mean? So it's just like, well, we'll make it work. Somehow, some way, it'll work. So here we go with death as our last card. Endings, rebirth, loss, transformation, release, truth. So reduces to four. The number of uh, the number four stands for order, which comes when death is done. See, funny enough. I, I've read that six is order because everything's going and falling in order. Five, six, seven. I feel like if you do some reflection, if you can see from the second, and this is where we have our gratitude from the second to the 22nd, what has transpired that has come, that has fallen, um, your way has gone your way. You know what I mean? And I feel like because of our karma, then that's what this whole thing is about. Um, I feel like it's just like, you know, trust it. You know, I don't feel like it would have came to you if divine wasn't there. If they were like, you know what, this is what you have asked for. And now it's, you know, it's come to fruition. And it's like, you know, it's kind of like our vision board. It's like everything that we ask for. And it's like, you know, some, um, maybe a little something and everything will happen. It may not be to the extent that you want it, but at least there's a little, you know, there's growth that, you know what I mean? You can never deny growth. Keep watering that seedling. Keep, you know, until it becomes, you know, a baby tree. And keep watering, giving it the nurturance it needs. And then it will eventually become a full grown-ass tree. And trees live for years and years and years. You know what I mean? So it's like where you put your energy into. So, you know what I mean? It's just like keep moving forward. This card means symbolic death rather than a physical death. It heralds significant change. Moving houses, a new career. Or the demise of a relationship or other ways of living. And I definitely feel like this is where it's like, do I have to cut out this person totally or are they going to change? The endings are often happen quickly and is necessary clearing of the way. So we definitely get a lot of like, you know, sometimes our fear, worry, and doubt. And I feel like this is where they're saying that procrastination, you know what I mean? And they're saying like, you know, we can't procrastinate here. We got to move forward. The wheel wants to move forward. Let it move forward. Additional meaning, seeing the truth. Funny if both of them are Aya, you know? And it's like once her eyes are widened out and it's like seeing the truth. And that's why I feel like in this decision, you will see the truth. Um, oh, Which card was that? I can't remember what day it was or what card it was. But they were talking about getting messages from spirit. So pay attention to what they're trying to tell you here. Because I've been getting the same thing i haven't looked it up yet so i'm definitely look it up now but it's like it's the same undertone 
You know what I mean? So it's just like, what are they trying to tell you here? You know? So just be open to spirit. I definitely feel like a meditation is called for. Keep yourself grounded. Do things that ground you. Keep the energy positive. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Thursday, February the 17th, 2022. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.